back. I am in a new town. I am in Ocean Drive Beach in North Myrtle. North Myrtle Beach Ocean Drive is what it's called. It's a nice little beach town, but today's video, what I'm going to do is a lot of people have asked me what kind of tips I can give them for traveling to the Philippines. I'm just going to tell you what I learned and some things that I wish I would have known before I went. But I do have an upper hand in some of this stuff because my girlfriend's Filipina, so she showed me how to get bus tickets, boat tickets, and things like that. But I am going to share with y'all what I did learn. The first thing was uh, sign up for e-travel before you go. E-travel, you'll need that when you get there so you can get into the Philippines. But it's easier to do it if you sign up before you get there because I didn't sign up before I got there and I had to wait in this long line at immigration to get my little barcode so they could scan it when they scanned my passport. Uh, also, you cannot go into the Philippines without an exit ticket. So if you just buy a one-way ticket to the Philippines, you're not going to be able to get in either. So what you should do there is go to onward.com and buy an exit ticket, maybe to Singapore, Thailand, or something like that. It's only like $17. It's a throwaway ticket. If you use it, it's not a throwaway ticket, but my next trip, I, I bought a one-way ticket from Hawaii to the Philippines, so I'm just going to buy an onward ticket to Singapore, and it's good for 45 days, if I'm not mistaken, but um, you can look into that on onward.com. Give you a shot of our beach. It's uh, not as pretty as the Philippines, but it's uh, way overpacked, if you ask me. <laughs> Next tip is pack light. You don't need to take a lot of stuff because you can take a few pair of shorts and a few t-shirts and when you get there you can buy more because the clothes are really cheap there so you really don't need to take a whole lot of stuff not unless you really want to. I know my backpack got real heavy because I overpacked so pack light don't take a lot of stuff buy it when you get there. Number three uh, your plugs from the United States work great in the Philippines. You don't have to worry about buying a adapter or anything like that. But be careful plugging in some computers because some of the plugins are 220 and it could fry everything you got. So be careful with that. Next tip. Um, keep your passport, your ID, and your phone as close to you as you can. That's pretty much common sense there. So you don't want to lose either one of those because if you do, you're in big trouble trying to get out of the Philippines. But also, if you wear a backpack anywhere in the inner city or any place like that, always wear it in front of you because people will come up behind you with a straight razor and cut your bag. You won't even know it. They'll take everything you got. You're standing right there. don't have no clue. So just be careful as uh, you do that. I wore a fanny pack over there, so I, didn't, I kept everything in front of me that I could see it. So I didn't have to worry about people coming up behind me. But when I did get off of the boat, we were in Cebu. I did use or we kept the backpack in front of me. And so did uh, my girlfriend. She kept her backpack in front of her so nobody couldn't cut it. And Filipinos will tell you that over there. Number five, everybody speaks English. If you're from another country and you don't speak English, I, I really don't have no uh, tip for you, but you can pretty much find information everywhere you go. If you're looking for something, somebody's always glad to help you. They'll smile, they'll tell you where to go. A lot of times they'll point. And they'll tell you how to get there but and they'll point in the direction that the place is at they won't say go down two doors it's on the left they'll just point in that general direction so that's how you find out how and where you're at down there so just uh keep that in mind tip six kick it off in cebu cebu is the uh it's a great island i mean yeah it's a great island it's got a bunch of great beaches but also manila is a little more crowded and a lot harder to get around uh, use grab which I'll mention that later I think but uh start off in Cebu I really like Cebu I've never been to Manila I just watched a lot of videos on it and I see how hectic it is there 
but the beaches on Cebu Island are amazing so you can take a short ride to any beach there white sand beaches a lot of stuff to do a lot of stuff to just check out it's uh pretty awesome my second trip which is coming up we're gonna go down from Cebu City all the way down to the bottom of Cebu and we're just gonna stop in little towns along the way and rent us an Airbnb and check everything out that way so I suggest you do that too if you if you want to go to Manila go ahead but I've heard it was kind of hectic so I'll leave that strictly up to you all right tip seven you can book a Airbnb or a hotel before you get there uh, I did that the last time and it worked out great but there's also a lot of hotels and a lot of Airbnbs that are listed you can go in there and you can book them when you get there a bunch of nice hotels and they started anywhere from $22 a night uh, USA money right on up to $80 a night so next time we go we're just going to book as we go instead of booking everything on Airbnb I think it'll be a lot more fun uh, exciting because you can see the hotels on Airbnb but when you see a really nice hotel you go into it and it's kind of surprising because you open the door for the first time and you're like wow here it is looks nice we're hoping that's how it works so but we'll see tip number eight change your money uh, there's a lot of places at the airport you can change your money it's gonna be a little bit higher at the airport if you can and if you have money wait till you get to the mall because the exchange rate there is a lot better a lot more places in there and also make sure that your money has no rips in it no tears no markings or anything if it does a lot of places will not take it so you will be stuck with that I took hundred dollar bills you will be stuck with it I don't even know if they change 20s to be honest with you but because I didn't use those so I can't tell you anything about that but make sure it has it's just like it's brand new because if not they will not change it and go to the malls to get your money exchanged because the rates are a lot cheaper break from the tips right quick and I'm gonna show you an ice cream shop here in Ocean Drive a buddy of mine owns it come by and check it out when you get a chance It's a really good ice cream shop a buddy of mine, like I say a buddy of mine owns it I have my own ice cream business we kind of collaborated a little bit and talked things over stuff like that but come check him out if you're ever in the area tip number nine sim card you're gonna need to change your sim card out last time I didn't change it out because I used Wi-Fi everywhere I went plus my girlfriend had her phone so we used hers if we needed it but I just used Wi-Fi at the hotel and any place of business that I went to I used their Wi-Fi but you can change the uh, sim card at the airport but like i said i suggest wait until you get to the mall because it's cheaper and the people there will help you change it out they'll help you register it and everything you have to register the sim card you have to register your phone then you put the sim card in and everything works just like it does here in america um one thing too is it's um smart is they have smart and global i think it is i've heard and i've used smart is uh well, I had to use Smart, but my girlfriend uses Smart, and it turns out to be the best one so far. So check that one out, and do it at the mall and not the airport. Tip 10, do not feed anybody who comes running up to you with your hand out. Because if you give one a piece of money or anything, food or anything like that, in about 30 seconds, you're going to have 40 or 50 of them standing around you. And then they're going to run in, they're going to stick their hands in your pockets, and you ain't even going to know it. So be careful because it's mostly children and one will run up to you and they'll start doing this. You just have to tell them no and keep walking because if not, like I said, you'll have so many around you in just a few seconds, it won't even be funny. And they'll be touching you and hands in your pockets and they'll take your money out of your pocket. They're really good at stuff like that. Um, I also heard, I'm not sure about this, but you can check or I'll check for you. I heard it was against the law to feed, to buy them food or something like that. I'm not sure how that really works, but uh, I'll look into more of that and let you know later, uh, maybe on the next video that I give some tips on. But yeah, just be cautious of doing that. Tip number 11 is the final tip I got. Uh, instead of taking a grab everywhere, which grab is cheaper than most things. Sorry about that, I was out of frame. Grab is cheaper than uh, the taxis and all that stuff. But if you do take a taxi, make sure the taxi has a meter and make sure that y'all come to an agreement if it don't have a meter before you leave or get to your location because it may change on you when you get there it may be 100 pesos when you get there it may be 300 pesos 
So make sure that you come to an agreement if it don't have a meter, but try to get a white cab. Most of those have meters and I always rent a grab. Grab is very, very inexpensive. I like grab and they'll take you wherever you want to go. They even have grab food for pickup. But, I, I, and also, um, use a bus, a trike, or a motorcycle with a box cart on the, a cart on the side of it because you can travel over there with those things and it's really cheap to do so and it's a fun experience. So, hey, I hope these tips help y'all because I wish I would have known some of them before I went, but I didn't. So I had to learn as I learn as I go, but it was fun. I learned a lot of stuff. And like I said, my girlfriend's Filipino. So she kind of helped me out with most of the stuff like traveling, getting us a bus ticket or getting us a boat ticket and things like that. So I hope this helped you out. And I may not end it right here because I got a couple of places I want to go to and kind of look around. I'm from this area, so I see this all the time, but maybe some of you all hadn't seen this area and want to come check it out. It's a nice little, it's not too overly crowded with tourists, so you can definitely come check it out. All right, I got one more stop. I need a new hat. I'm gonna go in here and see if I can't find me a new hat in T-Tsunami. You'll never look at the name the same again. I'm a big fan of Rip Curl and I'm not seeing any. Billabong, Quicksilver, got to have Rip Curl somewhere. Oh. Okay, which one? No going to hat, nothing in there grabbed my attention. So I'm gonna wait to another surf shop, but I'm gonna end it right here, y'all. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If I missed on any tips that you might've wanted to uh, know about, you can leave me a comment below. I'll do my best to answer them. I try to read all the comments and uh, please like, subscribe, share this video if you will. T-Tsunami. And uh, help me to grow the channel. I appreciate all of y'all who have subscribed and all of y'all that have left me a comment, shared it and everything. I greatly appreciate y'all. I love y'all.